Hello everyone, welcome to this session on top Excel shortcuts. Today in this session we will quickly discuss some of the most used shortcuts that you will use while you're working with Microsoft Excel. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll quickly jump into my Excel sheet and let me display you all the shortcuts that we are going to discuss today. Alright, so these are all the shortcuts that we are going to discuss today guys. And let's start with the first one. So let's say you want to know how many rows you have in your Excel. Have you ever wondered what is the maximum amount of rows that you have in your Excel sheet? So if you want to know that, the simple trick to do that is by pressing Control and Down button. So if you press Control and Down, you will reach the last row of an Excel sheet, which is 10,48,576. Similarly, if you want to know how many number of columns do you have, then you have to simply press Control right and then you will reach the last column which in our case is XFD. Right. So again, if you want to come back uh, to the first column, you will press Control left. You will reach the first column which is the A column and if you want to reach the first row, just press Control up and you will reach the first row. So this is how you can navigate to the four corners of an Excel sheet. All right, moving forward, uh, if you want to know how you can move to the next sheet, then the shortcut is Control plus page up or page down to basically navigate between sheets. If you are on a Linux machine or if you are on a Mac, in that case, the uh, shortcut is going to be the Alt key and then the arrow keys. Right. So if you are on Windows, it will be control page up, page down. If you are on Mac, it will be alt plus the arrow keys. So let's say if I want to toggle between the two sheets that I have in this Excel workbook, I will go control page up and this way I can go to the next sheet, control page down and then I can go to the previous sheet. So this is how you can navigate between the sheets. Next thing, if you let's say want to hide certain columns, so how can you do that? All right. So if you want to hide certain columns, let's say I want to hide. Uh, let me make it a little zoomed out. OK, so let's say I want to hide the C column. So the the command for that is control zero in case I want to hide columns. If I want to hide rows, it is control nine. So let's hide the C column. So control zero and you can see the C column has now been Hidden. Similarly, let's say if I want to hide uh, rows, so let's say I want to hide these three rows, so control line and these three rows will be hidden. If you want the rows or the columns back, just select where the hidden rows or columns were. In case of rows, the command is going to be control shift and then nine, you will get the rows back. And if you want the columns, just select that range and it is control shift and then zero. So this is how you can get your hidden columns or rows using the keyboard. Now next thing is a pretty neat trick. Uh, how can you have uh, uh, borders to your data, right? So if you're on a Windows machine, the command is going to be control shift and the end key. However, if you're on Mac, the command is going to be option command and arrow. Right. So let's say I want to add arrows over here. So now what I can do is I can add the borders. Now the thing is that, that when you are adding borders, it will add borders to one side of the data. Right. For example, if you press control shift and end, it will add columns to the below part of the data like this. Right now, let's say you want to add columns to the right hand side. So then in that case, you will have to press the right arrow. And in that case, you will get the borders on the right hand side. Right. If you want to get borders to the left hand side, again, select it. And then the left arrow along with control and shift. And that's how you can get borders to the left hand side. Let's say you want to remove the borders. Then again, just select it and then press control shift and underscore. And with this, the borders will be removed. So guys, this is how you can play around with the borders in Excel. The next trick is pretty neat. So let's say you have a row of data, right? So let's say uh, I have 12, 123, then I have uh, 567, 
then I have some other data. Let's say these are some random values that I've put. Now I want to convert these values into currencies. Let's assume. So how can I do that? Now the shortcut for converting a, a, a row or a column of data into currency is control shift and then dollar, right? So just select this, press control, control shift dollar. And in this case, whatever your native currency is that the data will be converted in and along with that dot zero zero will also be added okay so this is how you can convert a column or a row of data into currency okay now next thing is if you want to make a percentage column let's assume right so let's assume i whatever data i should be entering in this c column it should be percentage so in that case what i'll have to do is I have to type in control shift and then five or percentage and now what will happen is whatever data I enter over here will automatically be in percentage neat right so this is how you can basically convert a column into percentage okay guys uh, next thing is if let's say I want to uh, go ahead and convert a certain column or a row or a cell into date how does that basically work so if i have to do that uh, so first you will have to understand a very important concept so in excel the dates basically they start from the 1900 year right so let's say if i enter one over here and if i do a control shift and then hash you will see the date that i see is first january 1900 right now let me tell you one more thing and with that it will become more clear to you so if i enter 123 let's say right so now if i do control shift hash you will see it's now 2nd of may 1900 so what does this mean it means that whatever data that you are entering over here right whatever number that you are entering over here once you convert it into date it adds that number to the uh, 1st January 1900 and whatever corresponding date you get it basically displays that. So let's say I enter 50,000 over here and then I do a control shift hash over here then you will see I have reached 21st November 2036 okay similarly let's say if, if you want to come to the current century just enter uh, 41,000 some number 41,396 let's say and now if you convert you will see it's 2nd May 2013 right if I enter 49 uh, 43,000 number you will see that uh, control shift hash will basically give you 22nd September 2017 so this is how the date uh, basically work right so it basically works with numbers and uh, the numbers if you will have to enter and once you do a control shift hash it will basically convert those numbers into date so that's how you can play around with the date uh, data type in excel if you want to get the current date or current time if you are on windows if you do a control shift and then colon you will get the current time if you are on mac if you do control shift and colon you will get the current date right and uh, with this current date if you basically convert it into let's say a uh, number you will get the number uh, 44209 so if you enter 44209 over here right and if you do a control shift hash you will get the current date right so if you convert this date into the number column then it will give you the number which is corresponding to days after 1st January 1900 okay so remember that okay after that uh, the next thing that you want to look at is how you can copy from above okay so let's say I am on this row uh, this this particular cell and I want to copy this number right so what I can do is control shift and double quotes so when I do this whatever number is above that cell is basically copied right this works for percentage as well and this works for dates as well right so whatever is the number above it basically copies that 
great next thing is how you can display all the formulas on a current sheet now this is very important right so let's say i have uh, i have these currencies right so what i'll do is i'll enter a formula over here so sum and then i want to enter let's say a1 and then i want to enter a13 and then i'll close this okay so you this is the sum that you got right and let's say i just make it a little bold so that we know that this is the sum now let's say uh, you are on the sheet and now you want to understand all the formulas which are there on the sheet so in order to do that you will have to enter control plus the tilt button which is just below escape so when you do that the sheet will convert into this kind of a format and here you can see the formulas which are mentioned on the sheet right so for example uh, you had percentage so you can see it's 0 0.23 0 0.24 then this was the row uh, this was the cell wherein the sum was basically shown so this is being shown if you want to come back to the again the normal view again press control plus tilt button and you will get back the normal view so this is how you can display all the formulas and again another neat trick to basically do an auto sum of all the numbers is by basically going to sheet two uh, i mean come come back come to the sheet where you want to do the auto sum let's say i delete this cell and i want to do an auto sum of this number all right so if you are on windows the formula is going to be control and then plus if you are on mac the command is going to be command shift and t so just select all them all of them or don't select them and then just to command shift t and that will give you the sum of everything which is there in that particular column okay if you are on mac or if you are on windows you just have to do control and then plus and then you will get an auto sum of all the values which are there in the excel sheet so all right guys so with this uh, we come to an end to this session so if you like this video and you want more shortcuts please tell us down in the comment box and we will be coming up with more such videos for you if this was helpful so thank you all for joining in have a great day ahead and goodbye